Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be making a live stream countdown starting soon screen. Thanks to my buddy, Roger Coles over on Instagram, my social designer, he figured out something that I had not been able to figure out how to do. So, so today in Canva, we are creating a starting soon screen with a countdown. Let's jump into it. Okay, there's actually two different ways that we can do this. I'm gonna to try to show both of them in this video. We will see. First thing, we're gonna go ahead and go to canva.com. Once you're on Canva, if you do not have Pro, go down to my link down in the description, get yourself a 30 day free trial of Canva Pro, and then dive in. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to make sure that templates is selected right here. Then we're gonna search for starting soon. And we're just gonna use a template for this tutorial, but you could actually absolutely design your own uh, and you will be good to go. The main thing is I don't really want a, a video background um, if I can avoid it. These that have like a static background are gonna work best and you'll see why. I did play around with this one right here, but the video definitely messed it up. So we're gonna try not to use one of those. We're just looking for one that looks good, that we like the look and the feel of. And honestly, I really like this one. Yeah, I think we will, we'll go with this. I think this will work for it. So uh, now you can see as I click this, there's others that have been suggested and some of these have some really cool, like, I mean, this one is awesome. Like you could just literally roll with this and you would be fine. Right, but okay, all right, we'll go with this one right here. Customize this template. Now I wanna figure out where I want my text and what I want my text to look like, or my my countdown, I mean. Right, so obviously here I could go ahead and, and change all this out, put in all my information. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. I can always go back and find it, but I just want a big white countdown right there in the middle. So I'm gonna hit text, I'm gonna hit heading or add a text box, whatever you wanna do. And honestly, what I put here doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna put, uh in all caps text again that all caps doesn't even matter just for me personally uh perfect now that i have that this part is is done for now now we're gonna go and create a spreadsheet um if you don't know how to do a spreadsheet let's just go ahead and go to uh use let's use google so if you have a google account type in sheets.google.com there is um sheets built into canva already um, but I will say with what I need to do here, I was unable to get it to work. Maybe that'll be functionality added later on. It works fine and I can get it. I just can't get it to create below uh, column 50. So I, I don't know what that is, but anyway, Google Sheets works perfectly fine. I'm just gonna create a blank spreadsheet. And all I really need is it to count from two minutes to zero or whatever your countdown is. If it's five minutes to zero, 10 minutes to zero, one minute to zero, whatever you want. So for us, we're gonna do a two minute to zero. So put in two minutes, 159, 150, I'm just kidding. You don't have to count all the way down. This is the benefit of a spreadsheet. You just select these two um, cells right here. You have this little blue dot. If I drag down, it auto fills in the information. And so I'm just gonna auto drag down. I think it'll be to about 120, but I'll show you what happens. Just drag for a long time, right? And find your zero, which is right here, and just delete everything else, right? All right, so now I have my spreadsheet that is counting down from two to zero. I'm gonna go here to file. I'm gonna to go to download as a CSV file. And there we go, I have my untitled spreadsheet. I uh, should have given it a title, but it's fine. All right, so now we're gonna go right back here. We're gonna go over here to apps, type in bulk create, press enter. It's gonna be this one right here that doesn't have an image, which if you're like me, completely skipped over that. Um, looking for all, looking at all these other ones with images. And so I'm gonna choose bulk create, uh, just like that. Now it's saying here, I could use uh, information from sheets. So if I design it in canvas sheets, I can easily do it right there. Um, again, didn't work for me. Hopefully next time I need it, it will. Uh, so, but we're just gonna go right here to upload data. We are going to choose our CSV file that we just downloaded. It has all of our information, perfect. So now I'm gonna go here to text and hit these three dots and I am going to go to connect data, connect it right here and then hit continue. So now it's gonna generate, this is all the data that I've given it. And so now I can uh, hit generate 120 designs. Of course that will change depending on how long your timer was. And there we go, one design created and saved to your projects. Hit view and folder, I'm gonna open up a new tab. There we go, there it is. So this is our new one that we just created and there should be 120 of these. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we are going to click here, go to the edit timing. We're gonna set it to one second and apply to all pages. 
And just like that, we have a countdown timer. Now, I notice I left the pulsing effect on all of this. Maybe I shouldn't have done that since that's why I didn't want anything with motion because it's going to reset every minute. Um, which is, you know, a little bit annoying. So let me show you how to do it in a slightly different way, but you can put it on a video. So, all right, that one is done. We can hit share, download, download as an MP4 video, make sure all pages, 100 and 120 or whatever you have is selected. So make sure you have all pages, one through 120 selected and hit download. Then you'll have an MP4 file that you can pull into OBS or wherever you need to use it. So, okay, that was the first tutorial. Let's go ahead and go into the second one. We're gonna use the same spreadsheet. I'm not gonna create a second spreadsheet for this one. Okay, so the second part of the tutorial is a little bit different way to do it. And it's a way that you can actually use a video or make something completely custom that can be done in OBS. Yes. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go with a video file. Uh, we're going to go with video landscape because we want it roughly 1920 by 1080. Honestly, that part doesn't matter a whole lot, but we do need it to be a video file. So now that we have our empty video file, we are going to create a text box just like this. Again, I want it all caps. All right, my text in here. I want it this time. I just want to make this text box as big as I can get it. Just like that, I think is perfect. Then I'm going to go here and I'm going to change my background. I'm going to click just to this. I'm going to change my background to a bright, bright green. Uh, when it hurts your eyes, it is big enough. Okay, then I'm gonna take my text. I wanna change it to white, but of course this would depend on what you're putting it on. I don't exactly know what I'm putting mine on yet, but I'm sure it'll be a dark background, so white should work. Just like that, we're gonna go back to apps. We're gonna go back to bulk create. This part is gonna be identical to the last part of the tutorial. Bulk create, choose it here, upload data, choose your spreadsheet, click your text, three dots, connect your data, choose the two minutes, continue, Generate 120 designs, it's gonna create a new project. So we're gonna click view in folder. And I think I will, with looking at the time, I think I have time to show you the two different ways that we can do this. So now I'm gonna to go to that one that I just created right there. And there we go, we should have all of these. And just like before, I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna choose my timer here. I'm gonna set it to one second and apply to all pages. And so now I have a countdown on a green screen. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and share, download, we want it as an MP4 video with 120 pages. That's just exactly how we want it. We're gonna hit download. And I encourage you to uh, be smarter than me and always name it. I never do. I almost always forget to name my designs. Uh, and so they just always have weird random names. There we go. Okay, so now that it's done, you could go into OBS. So this is our first way of doing it. And I'm, I'm just showing you the OBS I'm recording with, which is gonna have a lot of stuff. Um, try to ignore all that. And I'll show you how to add this in. Um, over in your sources, what we're going to do is we're going to hit plus. We're going to go right here to a media source. I'm just going to say countdown, right? I'm going to browse. It'll be in my downloads. There we go. Should be that one. Um, we'll keep all that the same. There we go. Okay. So I'll move it up here so you guys can see what I'm actually doing in OBS. I'm going to put it up here at the top. So now with countdown selected, I'm going to right click and go to filters. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to go plus. We're going to add a chroma key filter to it and boom, it removed the background. And this is useful because at this point, I'm trying to get this out of our way. Um, at this point, I could, you know, put this on an overlay. Like you've always seen the streamers that have kind of like the colorful gradient and you can kind of see them in the background working and they just like a countdown on top. Like you could have something like, and OBS just crashed. Guys, that is why you record in MKV. You have to remux it and stuff to get it to MP4. But I just checked my recording is still there and it's still good. But you can see, you know, I have the timer over there. It's, it's working fine. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and we'll move into the next part of the tutorial. Uh, and that, now that we have that video file, we can actually just go uh, to Canvas Home. Um, and now I can go, I can actually just look for, I'm gonna keep under templates. I'm gonna look for a starting soon screen. And this is one where I could actually use a motion background, right? Uh, so let's choose one now that does have motion. Getting real fun. Now I want the background to actually have motion. I don't just want all the text and stuff to move. Yeah, so like this one that's on a background. Okay, this one kind of works. This is kind of cool looking actually. Let's just go with this one. We could have chose any one we want. And pretty much what I want is I want to go ahead and change the duration of this to two minutes. So I can go right down here. Okay, so we have a 10 second uh, file right here. And I want to go ahead and make the changes to it that I want. And essentially, 
Um, I would obviously change all this to whatever I wanted it to say. I'm gonna take out the word dreaming and I'm just gonna keep it as starting soon. I'm gonna kind of like offset it here or something like this. Now, this is why you would have chosen this beforehand because I would have absolutely had my countdown match this font. I'm not gonna remake it for this, but you would absolutely normally do that, okay? So now that I have this, I'm just going to right click and I'm gonna duplicate this page, right? And I'm just gonna, you know, select both of them, duplicate two pages. Now I can select all four of them, duplicate all four pages. And we're just really, we're gonna keep doing this uh, until we get it to the two minute mark, okay? Um, I'm gonna duplicate four pages and it looks like control D would also get us there. Okay, now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and drag in my countdown that we made. So downloads, go to our, our green screen countdown. I'm just gonna drag it in and it may take it a second to upload. And I forgot a, a vital thing. Look at the beginning of the video. The starting soon here is gonna animate in. And so now every page is gonna animate in. We should have went into this animate um, and remove the animation or only have it. Now we should just remove the animation entirely, but it's too late. It's too late for us. This is what I get for trying to rush through. Okay, so now we'll go here to uploads, videos, and here's our video file. We're just gonna drag it in, uh, and you can see it goes all the way here to the two minutes, and then we're going to, uh, I'm gonna position it and move it to the front. Now I want to, it's fully uploaded, so I can just go here to background remover, and it's gonna take it a couple minutes, but it'll be pretty much instant for you. Okay, that took a, a little while, but it is now done, and so now we can kind of size this down, put it where we want it, there we go. Pretty much delete all these. I actually, I have no idea what happened. It, it extended this to match the length of my video, I think, so I don't need those. Maybe I didn't need to do that from the beginning. I don't know, uh, but there we go. Our two minute countdown's ready. We would go to share, download, MP4 video, and download it. And you're done. Pull that into your OBS. Use that as your starting soon screen. Make sure you, when you hit zero, you go live. <laughs> I've had those before and wasn't always ready when it hit zero. But yeah, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you made something using it, make sure you join my Discord. Over in Discord, there's a share your art channel. I love to see what you guys make from these tutorials uh, in that channel. But guys, if you enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe to this channel, We're releasing videos just like this all the time. With that said, I appreciate you. Hope to see you in the next one.